So can I tell a training story? Because this course. is just so much fun. So how's training going? How many people, when you got your driver's license and you're taking your first driver's ed class and it was on wet or icy conditions when stopping, what are you supposed to do? Most of us are old enough to remember, pump the brakes, remember? Okay, yeah. So how'd that go? Not so well. So now they've invested in this great automated robotics technology called ABS. Fantastic. Now you just step on the brakes. You don't have to pump them at all, right? And the car goes and slows down. Well, now it's gotten even better because instead of waiting for a million years of evolution to have you know, more limbs grown on your body, now there's a computer that independently ABSs each independent brake trying to keep your butt on the road while you're steering in an icy condition, getting off the exit ramp way too fast and standing on the brakes, your car will do a really good job of actually keeping you on the road. But that's still not good enough because at least once a month or so on the news, there's a picture of some car in the front of the you know, Burger King locally at, with the caption, oh, I hit the gas instead of the brake, <laughs> right? So now what we're doing is we've put this radar technology in the front of the damn car that when you're driving along, it says, there's a wall. So we've disconnected the human from the brakes and the gas. Those are just electronic levers now. And the computer goes, take your foot off the gas, put your foot on the brake, and stop before you hit the wall. Oh, so we've completely given up on training the users. We don't even expect them to stop. We're telling the car to avoid hitting solid objects, which is, by the way, a great rule. And we've tossed training out, and we've completely automated the driving experience. It's better, stronger, cheaper, safer. It reduces your insurance rates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And every car in the next decade will have this kind of te technology. So we should take a note from the automotive industry that training users, and we're pretty focused on that. I mean, mom and dad actually drive you around for six months in the car, trying to train you as a user. It's very funny having both teenagers, one just now driving, and the other one's just about to start driving. You know, this training thing is really highly entertaining, but it doesn't work very well. And, and so the idea that somehow in cybersecurity, we're gonna tell everybody to use better, longer, bigger passwords, and please don't click on things, and, and you know, those attachments and emails from people you don't think you really know, don't click on those, it's just not going very well. We need to, we need to automate this process. We need to treat the computer as the robot that, it's at, that it is and provision it in such a way to assure that, that it protects us to the best of its ability. Yeah, and but the, the, the play protects itself. Sorry, go. I was gonna say, to, to play devil's advocate though, I mean, I do agree with what you're saying uh, in, in theory for the most part and everything, but uh, at the same time, if you're gonna completely remove the user from the loop where the, you know, the, the, so the software and the, the systems are completely taken care of, it, you're kind of shifting trust. You're shifting trust into the system that you're using that it's doing everything properly. So what happens if the user doesn't know the difference between the fact they're using a secured system versus a non-secured system? So, I'm, you know, it doesn't solve all the issues. I mean, it's, it's a great, uh, you know, technology and something I think that we should all you know, look at, uh, you know, you know, enhancing, but Tra uh, training the user on it isn't a panacea, right? Training the user on acquisition through marketing is actually an easier concept. So we've all learned to buy cars with airbags. By the way, that was not an easy task, right? People didn't know whether Volvo was going to work with that campaign or not, and and it worked, and it eventually caused the entire industry to shift. And and you see the beginnings of efforts now in the device world with people like Samsung Knox and, and what Dell's been doing in their security and whatever to talk about the fact that the device comes with security built in. It's just really early on days. Um, we're still at the point where people are questioning whether the airbag is killing more people or saving more people. Right? We're just in the earliest stages of securities built into the device. Right.